Hi, it's Dave, and today we're going to be reviewing a Sharper Image Retro Wireless Speaker, SBT3002. It's Bluetooth wireless, stereo sound, rechargeable battery, bass and treble controls. It looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. Okay, opening the box. This is what you're going to see. You got a cable here with, looks like a quick start guide. Here we go. Use your guide. And the big mamma jamma itself. Oh, this is cool. All right. So we finally got it out of the box. Here's your AC adapter. Okay. So here it is out of the box. You got a headphone cable. And and you got. All right, we're gonna go through this in a second. Um, Let's just take a quick look at what we unboxed. The speaker, this looks like it's probably uh, manufactured wood with a coating on it to look like wood. Um, it's actually really pretty. The face plate is gorgeous. It's got like a white vinyl covering around the outside. I gotta say, this is beautiful. the bottom so let's stand it up here we go the DC in the sharper image label and there is your grill right there I gotta say I'm very impressed with it again at the, the top plate actually I thought it was the front but it's a top plate Got a volume control, trouble control, bass control, on and off switch. Let's plug it in, see how it works. Okay, I plugged in the cord, and as you can see, the charging light is a red LED that went on. Alright, so let me look at the instructions real quick. Alright, reading through the instructions, a couple of features I forgot to mention. This is your auxiliary input. You saw your charging light earlier. This is your Bluetooth light. So when you're connected in Bluetooth, this is gonna glow blue. Right now it's kind of glowing white from the uh, flash, but yeah, there it goes, not on. Um, but again, we're gonna hook up to the auxiliary right now just to give it a quick test. Because my phone is charging at the moment. All right, we're gonna hook up my phone through the auxiliary or headphone jack. Okay, on my phone, it's on the bottom. Plugging it in right there. Ooh, that was dumb. Try it again. Plugging in on the bottom. Plug it in on the top into the auxiliary input. As you can see it right there. Now the Bluetooth light this is staying on. It's not blinking anymore. Now when I had it connected in Bluetooth, it kept blinking. So I don't know what the difference really is other than I guess that's its way of telling me that it's in the auxiliary and not Bluetooth mode. Well, that didn't work. Hold on. Okay, because I had a case on my phone, the jack wasn't long enough. That's what she said. To get into the hole. <laughs> Let's try this again. We're going to insert the jack into the phone. 
and then into the auxiliary jack on the speaker. It's turned on. Let's make sure I've got some music playing. And now. And that's how it's done. It's pretty simple. Easy connection. In case you don't have a device that's Bluetooth enabled, you can still hook it up through the auxiliary jack. We've paired the speaker to my phone. You can see the Bluetooth light is still blinking, so I guess it just stays on all the time. We'll turn on the volume. Mess with the treble a little bit. After playing with the speaker for a little while, um, a few things I've noticed. It's absolutely beautiful to look at. I mean, really, the cloth, the grill cloth is great. The wood grain is, you know, it's a good looking product, even though it's not real wood. Um, the faceplate, I mean, that's just absolutely stunning. In general, it's just a good looking piece. You see that vinyl is just really it looks sharp it pops but um, the one thing the speakers are a little bit mid-rangey um, which means you're not going to get really crisp highs or really uh, solid bass even though it has a trouble in bass control it kind of just boosts up the upper mid-range and kind of muddies up the bottom mid-range um, at high volume I've had it pretty loud a little while ago it actually sounded pretty decent um, I wish there was a way to daisy chain maybe one or two of these together. That would be neat. But all in all, it's going to make a nice addition to my living room, and I hope to get years of good use out of it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hey, it's Dave. Today we're going to be reviewing a Sharper Image Retro... Oh, shit.